welcome back this is video number three and now we're going to get into the specifics so i will start with biochemistry and basically how i wrap my head around how to do biochemistry as part of your world as part of first aid and how basically is my best bet at getting a good control over your biochemistry so starting right away uh, you should attack biochemistry early on because it's a tough subject and it is very volatile, so it requires you to revise it at least four times before you take the exam. And I think more number of times would be even better, but that's a minimum, I would say. So read through first aid, the entire biochemistry part of it in one go, because they have written down everything that is important and you don't have to memorize everything in the first go itself, but try and read through it once. So now I'm assuming that all of you have already done biochemistry in your first year, so all your facts will come back to you. You don't have to worry about cramming at all, but just like once, skim through it. Second, attack UWorld. Now biochemistry is basically 6% of your UWorld question bank, and it's kind of, that is the way it's represented in the main exam as well. So when you do UWorld, for biochemistry specifically, I would recommend that you should do it subject-wise instead of system-wise, just the way it is laid out in first aid, as in tick off uh, biochemistry in your subjects. And for systems, have all the systems combined. Because if you do system-wise in biochemistry, I felt that it wasn't as good for forming connections in some weird way. And maybe it just kind of made the questions very repetitive. So I was comfortable with certain type of questions, but not with the others. So it doesn't play out as well. So try doing it that way. If, if it works out best for you, it did for me. So then um, I would say for the books that are essential for biochemistry, Lippincott is a very useful resource. And I read that when I was in my first year of medical school. I steered clear of Harper, some of the smarter kids did it. I was not one of them. And I feel like all the first year viewers who are interested in USMLE, it should be a book that you must definitely refer to. If you don't like it, leave it, but it's a book that you should be aware about. Um, we did also do the book by Dr. Satyanarayan back in India in my college, and I feel like that makes for a decent read. Now, uh, the other important thing is Kaplan resource because biochemistry is divided into molecular and metabolism. Specifically for metabolism, I would say Kaplan is an amazing resource. They have, uh, in the books, they have laid out the cycles very well, formed connections very well. If you can get your hands on or the lectures, uh, by the Kaplan, on the Kaplan lectures in biochemistry, that's even more useful because you have somebody speaking as you read along. And for me, that's a huge boost because I definitely find biochemistry intimidating. So if somebody is telling about the cycles here and there, I think that's much more quick and easy to read. And then you can keep revising it as you do more and more questions. So another important part is genetics. And it's not just important, it is, it is the highest yield part in the whole of biochemistry, I would say. So you have to develop ways of of uh, making genetics a very strong point. Do as many questions as is possible. All the information is packed very well in first state, so read it as many times as you can. Talk, talk about it with a friend and discuss it as much as you can. But genetics is one thing that definitely cannot escape. It will form a huge chunk of your exam. So keep that in mind, there's no escaping genetics. Now an important thing in biochemistry is forming connections. And until unless you do that, it gets extremely difficult. So a good strategy is to look up mnemonics and see whichever website helps you or if, you can, if you're good at making your own mnemonics or pickmonics, that's even better. And I, well, my book, I will attach a picture. It was kind of, I had cycles all over the book. I, was, I used to flip a page and then flip back to the previous page and then read why and how that is connected. And I think first it does a great job of putting every cycle into clinical context. Like here, a cycle about uh, fructose metabolism would be followed by disorders of fructose metabolism, and that makes perfect sense. Uh, so in itself, it's a great book for forming connections, but you yourself can devise plans and do as many questions as is possible. Target you world completion, the question bank completion at least three times before your exam and read the first aid for biochemistry at least four times before your exam. And that is when you're on a six months timeline like I was. And uh, of course, 
make biochemistry as interesting that is watch videos watch kaplan lectures if you may do the kaplan q bank just to get a whole rounded perspective and do the u world q bank and then make it make it look interesting i think that is important too so if you have any more questions about biochemistry in specific let me know uh, in your comment section below so bye for now see you later Bye.